the Idaho backcountry discovery route goes through very remote sections of the Rocky Mountains. There's wolf, elk, moose, bear. This is Idaho. We are out looking for adventure and Idaho provides any level of riding that you want to pursue. This is a cool old town. We got a hotel, dance hall, really cool place to roll through. There's really almost nothing in these towns. They're little tiny old dilapidated ghost towns in some instances. In others, there's one small convenience store. It's a very cheap place to live because there's nothing, no place here to spend your money. This is a showcase of deserts and rivers and streams and mountains and wildlife and people. Well, it's a damn good place to be. You ought to stop by. We had people bring us uh, gifts of wine, fresh vegetables, and amazingly gracious and nice people. <laughs> these people live out here in you know these tiny little communities. And that's, I think, what's part of the, the character of the Idaho BDR that's different than the other, the other BDRs. We only have 1.2 million people in the state of Idaho, and then the rest of this state is wilderness and backcountry. The roads are endless. I mean, the dirt roads in Idaho, they just go on forever. There's just so much to see. Technically, I would say it's probably the easiest route we've had so far, but that much road coming at you day after day is, is pretty stunning. I wouldn't say it's difficult, but it is challenging. It's relentless. It's not like hurling along in your car in air-conditioned comfort. The sights, the sounds, the smells uh, are reminiscent of what uh, Lewis and Clark uh, may have experienced. Uh, we were lucky enough to stay in some rustic cabins a couple of nights. No electricity, no running water bring your own sleeping bag in, set it down. The little towns and the historical things along the way are really what keep the route interesting, in my opinion. And then, of course, to be able to end a, a long day's ride by soaking in a hot spring is it's unbelievable. Oh, oh yeah. Waking up in the morning, seeing the, the uh, deer tiptoe through camp, it was really a neat experience. You can't get much more beautiful in this country. It's remote, can be challenging, it's very scenic. Uh, Everybody should ride it. When you live in Idaho, you're really proud of your state. And I think this BDR shows off Idaho really well.